bothers people at a fundamental level, at an instinctual level. Mass surveillance troubles me. The Fourth Amendment begins by stating that the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated. But what constitutes an unreasonable search or seizure? The second part of the Fourth Amendment provides some concrete protections for privacy rights. And no warrant shall issue, but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. This means, for one thing, that search warrants have to be specific. By definition, this excludes things such as, say, general warrants that would authorize mass surveillance by reading everyone's email, or collecting everyone's telephone metadata, or vacuuming up everyone's contact lists, or logging every domestic internet search, or tracking the location of every domestic person using their cell phones, or accessing the user data of every smartphone currently in America. When there's one central authority that is not directly accountable to voters, they're not democratically accountable, and you give them the power to know everything about normal citizens, about politicians, about judges, about police officers or FBI agents or whatever it might be, you give them the power to manipulate situations in which they don't have any business being. And the government says, well, you know, if we collect every communication in existence, it creates a total picture. Therefore, we have a right to collect everything. Is that okay? No! My name is David Williams. I'm running for Congress in Illinois 9th. I was in the Navy for four years. You know, I didn't, I didn't assert the country to come back to a 1984 police state. You know, I hear some people when they say that, uh, well, you know, I have nothing to hide. But it's not the simple fact you have nothing to hide. It's the fact that you have a right to your own privacy. Part of the problem is that the, sur the, the surveillance um, entities like the NSA, CIA, FBI have abused their power in the past with spying on legitimate political actors like Martin Luther King, like Muhammad Ali, Frank Church, who was a senator, I think from Utah, um, in like the 70s, him spying on him and another senator. So when you give a state that much power to control the outcomes of democratic institutions, you, you give them the it corrodes what it means to be a democracy.